All right, here's some big news coming in. JNU Students Union to screen the BBC film. JNUSU students say task is to strengthen democracy. We will screen the film, the BBC film documentary on Prime Minister Narendra Modi. In fact, JNSU now invites students for the BBC film screening at their university campus. Meanwhile, ABBP says up to JNSU and the administration to stop the film, won't protest against the BBC, BBC film screening. This is the ABBP student wing of the NDA. As we see, JNU at this point wanting to screen the film says this is a celebration of democracy. We will screen the film at our campus. Also goes on to invite people to come by and watch the film which has now been banned in India. The BBC documentary on Prime Minister Modi that's now been banned in India. JNSU students now asking for the film to be screened in their campus. Also inviting people to come by and watch it. Let me quickly cut across to Milan Sharma joining us for a little more on that. Milan, a quick word from you as we see JNSU students now insisting that they will screen the film, the documentary film on Prime Minister Modi made by BBC, which is currently banned in India. They want to go ahead and screen it, invite people to come by and watch it. This they call freedom, democracy as part of all of uh, the constitution. They are allowed to do so. Well, yes, uh, the JNSU, the Students' Union of JNU had scheduled a screening uh, of the BBC documentary on uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi, the Modi question at 9pm uh, this evening. And of course, uh, there was a letter that was shot by the administration of JNU saying that there was no permission sought from the administration to begin the screening today. Uh, despite uh, the administration issuing a letter saying that uh, the screening should not happen, uh, the JNSU students have decided that they will still go ahead with the screening at around 9 p.m. and they've invited other people also to join in. Uh, the JNSU president Aishi Ghosh uh, has put out a statement saying that uh, this is uh, uh, the uh, upholding of democracy. But uh, having uh, to give you a background on this, there are other universities uh, where students in Hyderabad have also screened uh, this documentary. So it's not just happening here. And on the backdrop of that, uh, uh, many places where the screenings are being organized uh, with or without legitimate permission from the administration, uh, it has been going on. So, of course, uh, the JNSU there going forward with the screening today, we'll have to wait and see what kind of uh, uh, chaos is created at that moment because the JNU administration has still not given them the permission for the screening inside uh, uh, the Jawaharlal Nehru University there, Nabila. You know, Milan, I'd like to ask you, uh, as of now, what is the status of the film? We believe that uh, the BBC documentary on Modi is banned in India. Is, is that right? Well, absolutely. Uh, the documentary, The Modi Question, made by BBC, is uh, currently not being screened anywhere in India. In fact, uh, the IND ministry has uh, removed all the links of the documentary that were available on platforms such as YouTube. Uh, those who have tweeted the links on Twitter, they have had their accounts uh, suspended for some time or blocked uh, because the IND ministry is looking at strict compliance of uh, the regulations of the information and broadcasting in India. And uh, whoever is uh, tweeting snippets or documentaries of the movie in India, they are uh, not uh, available uh, for viewing, at least to the Indian audience uh, within the country. Nabila. You know, uh, Milan, tell me a little about uh, JNU, their, uh, you know, their, their tone and character in the past. They've insisted on uh, celebrating freedom, on uh, speaking on issues which are usually meant a taboo in, in the country and to, and they've already received a lot of flack uh, many of them calling them anti-Indian you know uh, indulging in activities that could be anti-national now this screening of the BBC documentary there do you believe will lead to another new controversy which could be worrisome well, uh, it's not the question of being anti-national as watching a documentary is not anti-national. But yes, it is certainly snowballed into a controversy. If the government of India doesn't want uh, the screening of the BBC documentary in India and there are eminent persons, uh, not just from the background of uh, uh, the IES or the IPS lobby, but also judges and uh, retired uh, judges of the Supreme Court who have backed uh, uh, Narendra Modi as a uh, uh, prime minister in the country and uh, have exposed the kind of bias that BBC holds in that particular documentary. Uh, definitely, it remains to be seen whether, uh, you know, it will snowball into a further controversy because, uh, of course, uh, 
uh, with the JNU uh, saying that they want to screen the documentary because they want to uphold democracy. In a democracy, you should be able to see everything. But the law of the land currently laid by the government is where the screening should not happen, at least in university as of uh, the government of India, at least uh, if we talk about uh, Jawaharlal Nehru University, which is JNU. Right, a quick question, Milan. Finally, would you know how exactly they're accessing the movie? Because if it's banned, ideally, you, you know, I'm not too sure how Indians will be able to access it. Give us an understanding on how JNU is manage, managing that. Well, Nabila, uh, initially when the BBC documentary came out, there were several copies, uh, our pirated copies that were available online on many of these uh, uh, platforms uh, apart from YouTube as well. I would not like to name those platforms. And uh, movies can be downloaded from such uh, particular platforms. Uh, it was only after uh, that uh, India issued a dictate saying that uh, the screening of this particular film is uh, not in contravention uh, with the laws of the information broadcast of India. And until such time, uh, people have already had copies. There are many copies of the movie that are available in India. Of course, they are not available for screening, at least in administration uh, areas or campuses of universities, uh, which come under uh, you know the education ministry as such. But yes, people do have their hands on the copy. Uh, you will also see links on Twitter if you have access to uh, these links uh, where people are tweeting it from outside of the Indian uh, subcontinent then yes uh, you can have access to them but in India you won't be able to view it. Alright, thank you very much Milan for joining us on that.